Hello. Hey. Hey, babe, how are you? I'm all right, how are you? <laughs> I'm not good or I'm not happy at all. What's going on? What's all this on the internet? See, eh? I woke up this morning, I prayed, I meditated, I went to the gym, I thought it was going to be a great day. Something was telling me that today is going to have some some curveballs in it, right? But yeah. exclusive to post. Oh, everything is going to be good. Um, From the gym, I went to the salon. First, I went to the nail salon, got my nails done. Then I went to the hair salon to arrange my hair for idols on Sunday. So I walked into the salon, or tie your cuts on a um, knee, some, something knee, you couldn't be, whatever. And I saw Tiwa. As I saw Tiwa, I, I sat down, I said, let me just chill, do you understand? And let me know, let me just maintain my, my distance because, you know, people were in the salon were already, I could feel the tension in the room. They were like, oh, looking at me, looking at her. And actually, that's what made me stand up and go and greet her because I could see that people were looking at her and looking at me, right? And I felt like, no, I'm not going to feed into this. I'm not going to let people think that. Yeah. Exclusive to post. Wrong. Do you understand? So I went up to her. She was sitting under the dryer at this point. So I just tapped her on her shoulder. I said, hey, Tiwa, how are you? She said, ah, oh, hey, how are you? I said, I'm fine. She said, good. So I said, you know, good. And our eyes just kind of locked a little bit and we just exchanged pleasantries. And then I went back to sit down. And then I started talking to the shop owner, the hair salon owner. Um, and this is like 20 minutes later. Tiwa came back over to me where I was. And she said, and I quote, Sheyi, in your dirty, stinking life, never ever greet me outside anywhere you see me again. I was so confused. <laughs> but I just said, okay, I won't, sorry. But she still continued to scream. And this time she was screaming that, oh, me and that bitch, you and that bitch, Victoria Kimani, you um you wrote you did a song about me and you think i don't know it was about me she all the things you have done to me over all this time you think i'm gonna forget so then it occurred to me that she was talking about the fuck you challenge that i did in 2017 is it not 2017 or or so and then i was like yeah. exclusive to post what's going on about don't forget since then i've seen her outside of We've seen each other in different places. I've said hello. She said hello back. We've even entered the same private jet together. Do you understand? We've said hello. We've taken picture together. So in my mind, I'm like, why is she acting crazy? She's saying me and Victoria Kimani were sluts, were whores, were a bitch. That me, I'm, uh, she will never forget that I'm a bitch. Look at my skin. Meanwhile, me, I just did a chemical pill. So you know how chemical pills leave your skin looking crazy after you've just finished doing one. And I... I looked on her face. She too, it looked like she had done the chemical pill. She was kind of scabbing. But I just said, hey, you know what? She's definitely angry about something, but it cannot be this fuck you challenge. How? After how long? Do you understand? Okay. That's when she not proceeded to scream that. You know, first of all, like, I'm confused at how... She could, like a mother, a mother swears on her son's life. She said, uh, if I'm lying, God should take my son's life right now. If what I say is a lie, God should, like, in my mind, I was so confused. When she said that, I was shocked. Crazy. Because I thought to myself, wait, this girl, what is she swearing on her son's life about? That what? She was not like, she was just being so discombobulated, just saying different things, shouting. Wait, <laughs> why are you so angry she said i mean i have a black spirit i'll be dirty spirits in me and in my mind i was like it takes a dirty spirit to know a dirty spirit girl you know and in my mind i was like this is so crazy even the shop assistants tried to you know calm her down and stop her but she was still charging at me she wanted to attack me they actually had to carry away you know and i stayed as calm as possible 
I was just giving her back to send her. So anything she said to me, you're ugly. Yeah, you too, you're ugly. You look at your skin. Hey, you're a whore. Yeah, you can look at your, your... I said, Tiwa, let me not open your yash here, this place. So she said, hey, open my yash. Your yash is open. That you're the most open yash in the industry. Can you go shout and scream? I was like, girl. <laughs> See, and I don't know if it's about the whole slander that she's been getting the past few months about that whole pregnancy rumor or whatever. But that's not my fault. Do you understand? Like, that's her thing and talking about pregnancy rumor the part that i didn't see on tunde ednot's um post today was when she said to me sheyi oni bimo along when you find lomo because you have a bad spirit oh then you be more 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 one more and she said it in yoruba you know and i just i was like ah, ah. and you know why it hurt me because i've had a miscarriage before and i know the kind of pain that i felt when going through that so for another woman not only to skin shame you or you know shame you in all these different ways but then to now tell you that god will not give you a child and you will not have a child and all these things after having you know having a miscarriage i just thought yeah this woman is definitely out for my blood and she has venom in her that she's kept for a long time you know and then she continued well, i mean before all of that she was saying i'm rich I made, I don't need anything from you, blah, blah, blah. In my mind, I was like, and so I didn't respond because I wanted, that's when I got my camera out and I started filming her too, because I wanted to people to hear everything she was saying. A lot of people were thinking that I was just being a mumu because I didn't respond. But the truth is I didn't respond because I wanted everything she was saying to be clear as day, right? And I wanted to make sure that she had nothing on me to say, oh, you, you understand? Maybe she attacked me, whatever. Because, come on, I said hello to you. You said hi back. We exchanged pleasantries. I went, I walked in, but you came back 20 minutes later. In my mind, I was complexed. Do you understand? You know? She said, I'm rich. I'm this one. I'm that one. In my mind, I was like, okay, so we, are we not, so we, we are not richer. What are you saying? Some people buy houses. Some people do stocks and shares. Some people buy shoes and bags. It is not, it's not by who is rich. Do you understand? So everybody, to one in the salon, you say, you're rich. Kilo of costa. What do you want them to? What's your main reason for doing, for saying all of this? None. Because the truth is, I was saying nothing back to her. I was just giving her back to send her, back to send her. You know? Please, I don't even know. Who told her I'm looking for a child again? Is she stalking me? I guess it's because of those uh, recent rumors of her pregnancy between her and her boyfriend. And I think that's probably what it is. Look, I've been on a three-year journey, babe soul searching praying fasting finding god finding myself and my life has totally changed and i'm at the happiest i've ever been i mean look at all the great things that are happening for me do you understand look at the tv show that i'm doing you know look at the fantastic song i put out with yemi you know i'm advocating for women sisterhood and then this bloody 40 something year old woman she's like seven years older than me or comes to come and throw a spanner in my works is it fair is it right she could have easily said shay don't talk to me i'm not your friend get the fuck out instead she decided to start screaming down the whole fucking um salon i don't get it do you understand that's crazy i mean look at this this is the same person that went to go and sing my song one of her biggest songs ever Mr. Lover Lover, I co-wrote that song with Cesar Millie. And when we, it wasn't all you and I that watched it on the fucking screen in America. We were like, ah, is this not your song? Shay, is this not your song? <laughs> I wanted to run mad. And I called her immediately. I said, um, Tiwa, that Mr. Lover Lover song, I just saw it. Congratulations. But I need to let you know, I co-wrote that song and I need you to give me my metadata. Meta At least give me my credit. She said, no, she doesn't believe that I co-wrote it, that the song is out already, that what should she do? She should go and stop the clinical. And I was like, no, just give me my... You were there now. I put it on... In fact, I yeah. recorded the whole conversation. Yeah, of course. This is the same girl that went to go and attack a popular male artist that we all know for featuring on, his, featuring on, on one of my songs and it's featuring in, on her song too. This is the same girl that went to go and approach a very big... A brand that we all know and uh, uh, threaten them to take them to court unless they take me off the ambassadorship because she was pregnant at the time uh, how can they put me as an ambassador you know you know all these things that have been going on all these years that i've said nothing about because at the end of the day like her stealing my song her you know making up rumors and lies and just 
you know, to the to, to the brands and every that. It just makes me. It just makes me feel like. You know that fuck you challenge really was nothing compared to what I could have done or said to her in the past. So. It's just unfortunate, really. Babe, listen, my, my, my big sister is calling me. So I need to... I'll call you back, yeah? I'll call you back. <laughs>